If it's your first time buying a PC case, you may get overwhelmed by the number of options out there. In this video, I'll show you some of the things to look out for so that you don't make the same mistakes that I made when I bought my first PC case. Now, the mistake that I made was buying the cheapest PC case I could get my hands on. Now, whilst the budget is a determining factor for most, you need to take the following questions into consideration before you buy your next PC case. Number one, how long do I want the PC case that I buy to last for? Now, most affordable PCs are made out of poor quality materials like plastics and cheap metals. Now, these tend to scratch easily or break easily. So if longevity is something that you're looking for, you may want to find a PC that is made out of good quality materials. And in most cases, those are not always cheap. Basically, there are three pricing tiers when it comes to PC cases. There's cheap, mid-range, and expensive. In terms of expensive cases, we're looking at cases like the Lian Li V3000, which retails for around $460. Mid-tier cases, we're looking at cases like the Asus ROG Strix GX601, or cases which retail around the $200 mark. And on the low end, we're looking at cases that retail under $50. Now the sweet spot for anyone who's looking for a case that will last a very long time and is of good value is the tier that is between the cheap cases and the mid ranges. Here you will get cases like the Lian Li Lanku 2 Mesh RGB case or the Fractal Design North Mid Tower case. Now a good case isn't only about the materials, which leads us to the next question. Are you planning to upgrade your PC in the future? This will determine a whole lot of factors, including the size of the PC case. If you want to future-proof yourself, you may want to look at a case that will accommodate the standard ATX motherboard, which measures 305 millimeters by 244 millimeters. The beauty about the standard ATX cases is that all other motherboard sizes, micro ATX and mini ATX are supported, except for server motherboards, which are slightly bigger. You should also make sure that your PC case can accommodate a very large GPU if you intend on upgrading your GPU in the future. In most cases, you likely will. And the case must also be wide enough to accommodate the largest CPU cooler and water cooler. Another element to look out for are the expansion slots on the PC, as well as the number of drive bays and slots the PC accommodates. There are other factors that may not seem important, but in most cases, may be the difference between the cheap cases and the expensive cases. For example, does your case allow for good airflow circulation? Now, a badly designed PC case can actually end up affecting the performance of the PC. For example, if the case does not allow air to flow freely, the CPU will run hot and at times even start throttling. Now, a poorly designed PC case can actually cause higher fan noise, which may affect your user experience. Other elements like dust filters are equally as important when choosing a PC case. I learned this the hard way. I had to clean my PC every week because of the dust intake. So a filter is a must. Also, does the PC case come with features that support good cable management? And can I be able to change out hardware easily like fans and RAM? With my first PC case, I had to remove the whole motherboard in order to be able to change the fans. So with this current WJ Kuman case, I can easily change fans because I can access the screws from the outside. You should also consider a PC case that gives you easy access to the tempered glass side panel before you break the glass. As a bonus, you should also find a PC case that comes with fans included. Now, lastly, when choosing a PC case, you need to make sure that your PC case actually looks good, that you can see it in different setups, even in the future. Now, you also need to do your thorough research before buying a PC case. I was just giving you some examples to help you make wise buying decisions. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.